Hey guys! So today you and I are going to talk about signs. The signs that someone has been a junior when they have been no doing something. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what are the signs that a piece of software has been written by a junior developer? So this is a very tricky question because it's in reality very hard sometimes to figure out if somebody is a junior when they're writing something or if a piece of software is actually written by a junior. It is a very, very subject subjective thing. And I'm just going to give you the main reason I think that makes me think this is probably written by somebody who is a little bit ex inexperienced. And that is that they don't follow the, the motions or the patterns or the established norms within a language. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you see, you may have thought that writing code is the same in every language. No. And not in maybe the way that you think it is. And not no in the way that you might think. Because when I say that this is not the case, I don't mean that every, of course not every language is the same, right? You will have differences between the languages, how you express yourself and how you declare variables and how you do loopsing, loops and stuff like, stuff like that, right? But I am talking about these unwritten rules within the, the coding language that you have picked. As an example, you can take a look at, say, PHP. So there are certain established patterns of working when you're working in PHP. And then let's say that you're working in Java. Now, if you were to try to write your code in the same way in PHP as you would in Java and follow the same practices and directory structures and architectures and stuff like that, it would look real. Uh, it would look really weird. Well, really is a strong word, maybe, but it would look a little bit weird to someone who is really who is very versed in one of these two languages, depending on which one you pick, of course, because different communities who work within a language will establish certain patterns, certain ways of working. An example is that more and more people are favoring using map, reduce, filter and so forth in JavaScript. Whereas they used to have a just a normal loop and then if conditions in that loop and stuff like that in order to do the same sort of thing right. And in some languages this is still the case. So this I hope is an example of when it, it, it can fairly it is it's just a hint that this person is probably not so versed within this language. That doesn't mean that they are inexperienced because I mean the beautiful part about programming is usually that if the problem is simple every most people will solve it in the same sort of fashion. A seasoned veteran will solve a array filtering in a very similar way as a as a junior. It's really only when you get up to the more complicated levels of programming where you're doing much more advanced things where you might see that someone is doing something in a slight in a, in a more less efficient way but that usually comes down to experience and things like that but it's it's not really that easy i would say to see uh uh, like at a feature level, like if you've implemented, implemented an entire, entire feature, if the person who did this was a junior or a senior, it they have to kind of fuck it up fairly, fairly poor, fairly severely, in order for me to be able, or for anybody, I th I would say, to be able to tell if this is a junior or a senior. But the language differences is for sure a thing. So what you really should have a think about is. Th this this thing I was saying like there is nothing wrong technically with writing PHP code in the way that you write Java or vice versa like just style wise that's not re there's nothing really wrong with that but you shouldn't and the reason why you shouldn't is because when a community has established a familiar way of working it is important to kind of follow along there to try to be consistent because it does actually help with some people's comprehension, especially if you're in a language where configuration, uh, convention over configuration is the norm. 
So what that basically means is that some languages and some frameworks and some tools and so forth, they have a, a style of working. They have an established pattern that if you just know, if you read the documentation and you know that you're supposed to put this file here and you should call it that and so forth and so forth, you know these, kind of, these tiny little rules then the tool is going to work because the tool is designed to assume that certain files are named a certain thing and they are formatted in a certain way and so forth and so forth. So these things do actually matter and it's usually a big tell when you can see that someone hasn't been working in, uh, you, you can see that somebody's not been working with a specific language when you can see that they don't really adhere to these subtle little rules. Some languages have more rules and some languages have less rules but they are they're usually there. So what I want you to take away from this is that the biggest tell usually if someone is a junior within the language is that they lack an understanding of the norms or the style of writing code in that specific language. And that is very common among quite a lot of people. I mean, if, even if you're a super veteran who's been working for many, many, many years and you switch languages, you're going to be a junior in that language. And it's very likely that it, there will be f a few tells when you're working that you're not really, you haven't been doing things in this language for all that long. The logic and your feature might be amazing, but the way that you write your code is not in line with how the community in this language is wants you to do it. And in some languages, it's actually so important that your product may not work if you don't understand these rules. This is an example of where configuration over, no sorry, convention over configuration is the case where the tool that you're using is assuming that you know a few of these rules so you name the files the correct thing and so forth in order to actually work. So make sure that uh, you kind of learn the lingo and the style of a new language when you pick it up because sometimes it actually matters quite a lot. Have a great day.